Diablo 4 Season 5 Season of the Infernal Horde starts on August 6th at noon central time. Diablo Season 4 saw sweeping changes that completely changed the way that loot and other things work in the game. It was super sick and now they are looking to add to it. The biggest addition is a new game mode called Infernal Hordes and it's available on both Seasonal and Eternal Realms. Basically you fight 60 second waves and waves of monsters that gradually get harder and the further you go the better the rewards. It has roguelike elements in it as well which means between waves you pick either a power up or something that makes the waves harder. If you pick harder it will increase the rewards at the end as well lots of monster and boss variety in this mode so make sure you check it out all you have to do is follow the seasonal quest lines kill everything along the way like you usually would and you should have everything you need to enter once it's time inside you'll get a resource called burning ether that you spend at the end of the event on all sorts of stuff like gold actually GA items are included and depending on how well you did in the overall difficulty level you started on the more stuff you get as far as new modes that's not all they've added either there is a new micro dungeon called hell breach dungeons centered around the theme of the season where you go to hell and you kill stuff i'm excited to check that out as well they've added over 50 new unique and legendary items but let's be real it's not 50 new uniques it's definitely a combo probably more legendaries than uniques including some hell themed items that from what i understand can only be found in the hell breach dungeons that i just mentioned if that's not right please correct me in the comments on top of all that, they've also pulled off a massive overhaul on every unique in the game, essentially making them more powerful and back on the table for Season 5. They just unveiled these yesterday in a live stream, and oh boy, they look really good. I'm super stoked. I'm not going to go through them all now, but you can check out the link to the screenshots in the description. This is nice to see since Season's 4 edition of Tempering and Masterworking made legendaries more powerful than uniques in most situations. And that's not all guys, there are tons of balance changes. Barbs were nerfed, Sorks, Necros, Druids buffed big, Rogues slightly buffed. Wouldn't worry too much about all those just yet with all the changes to uniques. Pick what you want to play. Barbs, I'm sure you'll be fine, settle down. One of the things I'm most excited about is a faster leveling process. They bumped the XP cap from 10 levels above your level to 30 levels above your level, so reaching 100 should be much quicker for most players. Especially leveling Waltz, and if you have someone to power level you, forget about it. And on top of all that, you can now stack Mind Cages and Hell Tides three times to make monsters 30 levels above your level, uh, along with updates and tweaks to Hell Tide events, so this goes nicely with the new XP cap, so GG Blit. And there's a bunch more. For example, you only need Malignant Hearts to summon Varshan, so maybe Duriel runs will be easier. You only need one Stygian Stone to summon tormented versions of the boss ladders. The Butcher is super butch this season. Doing pit runs in a group now gives everyone equal rewards. You can summon bosses now, right after killing them without having to leave or reset. This is huge. You don't have to do an entire dungeon just to get to the Beast of the Ice anymore. That's pretty awesome. There are tons of Paragon board buffs and changes for every class. Uh, there's been some tempering changes and additions to round out the options, so this should feel much better. There is going to be another seasonal progression board, just like last season where you, you, know, you do stuff, it unlocks items and gear, and you can get a Resplendent Spark at the very end. And you can still do this on multiple tunes if you're having a hard time getting a natty mythic drop. Another quality of life thing that I think is really cool is there's a new setting that has been added to display health and resource bars above your character's head. Pretty dank. Druids can now use pole arms, one-handed swords, and daggers. Necros can use maces, axes. Uh, Sorks can use one-handed swords and maces, including the mythics. So a little bit more build diversity there for each one of those classes. And so much more, guys. Check out the full patch notes in the link if you want every last detail, or just jump in there and try it out for yourself. If you like this style of video and you want to see more quick and concise Diablo 4 videos in the future, please consider liking, subscribing to inspire me to keep going. This is kind of something new for me. I am not a full-time content creator, but I'd like to be someday, so any help would be greatly appreciated. And last but not least, I thought this would be a good time to shout out to the best and my favorite Diablo 4 content creators that have done an awesome job covering this in great detail and with their takes. So check out the full-time YouTubers Rob, DM, Riker, Woody, Rax, Sladra, Macro. Extra shout out to to them for inspiring me and scratching my daily Diablo itch when I drive to work every morning. Thanks guys, see you next time.